Hello friends, this is Captain Dave with Simple Plan Trucking coming at you from the corporate office of Prime Incorporated here in Springfield, Missouri. i uh, been here, well, I guess a week and a half, close to two weeks now. I came in to upgrade, which I did last week. I'm now uh, an A-seat driver and my wife, Brooke, who is behind the camera tonight, uh, uh, passed her CDL test last Saturday. So she is all set to go and uh, so this week I was taking the trainer class uh, today and um, 14th on the list for a truck so hopefully we'll be getting a truck in the next few days and be able to hit the road. We'll be doing a whole other video on that where we recap that process and talk about what some of the trials and tribulations have been along the way. But today we have a very special guest with us, um, uh, my friend John Essery who is with the Prime Sales Department. A couple of weeks ago, I was um, sitting down in the cafeteria and John came up and introduced himself. He had watched us on our channel. And when he told me that he worked in sales, I was just like, wow, I've never really met anybody from sales. You guys are kind of like the um, um, the um, white elephant and sales really does exist. And so he was very kind and answered a bunch of questions for me and even offered to bring Brooke and I upstairs and gave us a tour of the sales department. We sat there at his workstation with him for, I guess, a couple hours. and About an hour. An hour, and we watched how things work, and he just kind of explained the whole process to us. And it's wonderful because that's the way Prime is. It's very transparent, and uh, anybody can do what we did, so we encourage you to do that. But, John, uh, welcome, and we wanted to take a few minutes and just give you the opportunity to tell us about yourself. So my name is John Essery. I have been working here at Prime for about nine months. And I work in, in night sales, so I'm the night coverage for the days when they leave at 5 p.m. Um, I come in, I work till 6 a.m., and I cover the Mid-South region. So that would be Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Eastern Arkansas, and the Boot Hill, Missouri. Um, it has been a really, really great working here so far. I've really enjoyed the people I work with and the work I do, and um, it's just great to sit here and talk to you today. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's has been great and it's been really good getting to know you. Um, I think, you know, you're a younger guy and yeah. you graduated from college and you started off as a, what did you do in your first job? So in my first job, I was a freight broker for another company. So what I did was we would book freight with, the, we would uh, book freight with companies and then we would sourced out to other trucking companies and we would um, just book freight with other trucking companies and sometimes independent contractors and uh, you know that was a, some really really good experience because as somebody who didn't have any sort of experience in trucking it was a great first step to then move up here which is it's not a, a lot different but it's different enough to where there was still a learning curve for me when I first came in. Mm -hmm. So now you work in the sales department and you work nights. Tell me on an, on a, what you what you do in sales. What's your main responsibility? So my main responsibility is assisting dispatch with helping truckers um, resolve issues. So if there is a driver that shows up to the 90 and they don't have a confirmation number to, in order to deliver their load, then we have to, now I have to go in and see if I can find it through different means. So that might mean looking on a website that we scheduled the appointment for, um, looking through emails of our daytime associates who the, who book the appointments, or it may be even trying to call the receiver and see if they could give me that number or if they can point me to somebody who can. So it's kind of a it's a different ways. That's just one example of how we do it. Also, um, if loads fall off for any reason, so if a driver ha gets their 90 and they find out their 90 appointment has to be rescheduled, then all of a sudden I can't run this load. So dispatch gets with us and says they can't run this load. Their 90 appointment has been rescheduled. And so what we do is we take that load off the truck and then we immediately start looking for alternative coverage. So the general rule at Prime is for nights, cover any load that falls off that picks up before noon. So if a load picks up at 0700, then we're responsible as trying to find the truck that can pick up the, sen the sentence. So that might be somebody who has a PTA of 0800, but what we can do is we can say, hey, we can open up the 01 window, just give me an ETA as soon as you can. 
and so that can be and sometimes it's just a drop and hook and so those are very easy to do we can just open up the window or if it's a live load we can just look go back and look at the previous loads and see have we opened up this window before mm -hmm. and that's kind of and so those are two aspects obviously there's also um, dealing with if there's a mechanical failure, reaching out to the customer and let them know we're going to be delayed for a few hours because we had a flat tire or we are have to go to the shop because we have reefer issues. Um, and that's kind of sort of the things I deal with at night mm -hmm. a lot of times. One of the things that uh, a lot of drivers wonder about, especially newer drivers that maybe are new to the whole process, don't understand how things work, is why why is it that, that sales books the load and then it comes through the fleet manager into the driver. It is from, from the driver's point of view, sometimes that can be kind of frustrating. I feel like there's an extra loop in the communication. What I saw after sitting down with you is the job would just be insurmountable for one person to handle all of that. You guys really are the primary um, source. You're the, you're the folks that talk to the customers, don't you? And rescheduling loads or resetting appointments, that kind of thing. You know, that the fleet freight man, fleet manager would not be able to do that. It would just be too much on their plate. So talk a little bit about that, about how you work through the fleet manager um, in communication to the drivers. Well, your fleet manager is the one that knows you best. As as a sales in sales, we can send you a load, but we might not know a particular reason why you can't take it. Maybe you can't drive at night. Maybe a specific area you just don't want to go to. Um, so when we send out uh, pre-plans, it is always imperative to say to if you don't want the load to tell us why you don't want the load. It might be because oh, I have to go pick up a student at, in this particular state and I need to get there, or I need to get home because uh, of a, a family emergency. And so that is kind of why we have to um, kind of go through their fleet manager because they know more information, or your night dispatcher in my case since I work nights, they know more information about you than I do. I just see a truck, I see it's available, and I just have a load to plan, I try to plan it the best I can, and if you can't cover it, then just communicate that to us and we'll certainly remove the load. And the reason why we have to give to say why it is that we, we can't, why we're not interested in taking that load, it's not because we have to justify it in any way, it's just, I think you've said the other day, it's so that you guys can learn for future why it is that this this team or this driver can't take that load so they won't send you the same yes. kind of loads again. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we don't want to be repetitive. Then the driver gets frustrated and said, I've told them before, I don't want this load. This doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. They're sending me the same type of load. Mm -hmm. And so that just helps us understand what what we are needing to do so we get it right the first time instead of having to take do multiple takes. And so I would say if you're looking for a pre-plan also, give us as much information as you can we'll try to accommodate as best as possible so if you're wanting to go to let's say you're picking up a load in Ohio and you want to get to Tennessee uh, you can say that say hey can I get something that goes to the state and it and can't deliver at this time not every time can we accommodate because we might just not have a load available but the more information you give us about what you're looking for or what you're wanting that helps us to decide okay we can get this person going on a load, we know what they want, and you're taken care of, instead of just constantly sending three or four free plans that just don't work for you. Right, and you know, Prime is very transparent. I've learned that in my short time here. Um, there's nothing secretive about what you do, and it's nothing that, um, you guys are approachable, as, as evidenced by our conversation right now, and they look to talk to drivers and to get to know drivers. However, when it comes to the scheduling of the loads, we really do need to work through our fleet manager and then to, to the sales department. It's not because they're up here and they don't talk to drivers. It's because then if we, if we were to just call sales, then the fleet manager would be left out of the loop and he wouldn't know what was going on. It became, becomes a big communication circle that is very confusing for everyone. So that's the reason yeah. that we do that, right? Yes. Yes. Um, and like I said, we don't, because yeah, when there is that missing chain of communication, all of a sudden we're getting questions asked, well, why did you take, or why was this taken off from me? Or why was, uh, why are you trying to repower this load? Well, um, and 
that's just information. Like I said, if everybody's involved in the communication process, it helps just leave. Uh, we don't have a problem with unanswered questions, and mm -hmm. every, and people are coming back saying, "Well, that why did this happen? What was the justification behind that?" Mm -hmm. And so that just helps open up everything and keep everything fluid and running Great. smoothly as possible. And how do you choose a load for a driver or for a team? What's your process for doing that? So, in a lot of situations, if a team or a solo is, uh, if the dispatch comes to me and says this truck is ready for a pre-plan. The first thing I'm gonna ask is, are they looking for anything in particular? So if they are looking for something that delivers uh, two days from now, because they have to get home, or they have, um, they want, or if they know any particular like place they want to go, or region, or if they're looking for a load that delivers by payroll so they can get on this week's payroll, um, the more information you give us about what you're looking for in a pre-plan, the better it is for us because, like I said, then we can send it to you and it help and it just helps speed up the process. Um, a lot of times, like I said, a lot of, I'm not doing a lot of active planning. Uh, most of that is done with our day crew, mm -hmm. but if you come and say, I'm ready for a pre-plan once I'm on you, then I will look and see what's available, whether it's something we just couldn't get covered during the day or if there's something that you can wait until the next morning. Um, but typically what we do is just recover loads that are have fallen off that need to be covered. But we do do some planning if a truck says, I'm ready for a free plan, do you have anything for me? Mm -hmm. And like I said, just the more information you can give us about what you're looking for, the better it is that we can just choose a load and we can send it to you. But the main reason, unless you have some other conditions that, that the fleet manager has made you aware of, you're truly just looking for which truck is available and the closest to be able to go pick that up, right? Yes, yes. So it could be a situation where we have a low, a driver might be 100 miles away, but they might be the closest truck or the one that is available the soonest. Mm -hmm. And so we're just... Like I said, we're trying to do our best to cover that, and you know, hopefully it's a really good paying load, and the driver can look at it and say, okay, this is a really good paying load. Instead of waiting until morning, I can go ahead and have my load, I can start heading to the shipper to go get it picked up. And uh, sometimes drivers would rather wait till days, and I understand that, because you want to see all the available options that are out there. And um, that's just, and that's certainly understandable. I do understand that, but like I said, from my perspective is, we need to try to get covered to make sure we don't have to go back to the customer and say, well, why was this missed? Exactly, exactly, yes. yeah. Yes. How we can get the freight delivered on time yes. in the most expeditious manner, and that's how we choose the person that's gonna you know, deliver the load, yeah. right? Yes. No magic formula to it, folks. So that's it, That's there you have it. Um, just a little introduction to um, the sales team. Uh, glad to have John on, and I would ask y'all that if you, have any questions from this or listening to this uh, discussion with John has generated other questions in your minds, put them in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. I think John would be agreeable to, to sit down and yeah. talk again. Um, uh, yes, and I would just say um, with any drivers, if you're here at the terminal and you have questions, please come up to the second floor of Z building. We are usually here at night from 4 p.m. to 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. to 6 a.m and we are usually sitting at our desk working and we obviously we would love to answer your questions if you have any or if wanting to know why we do certain things a certain way. Uh, we wanna be obviously as tra transparent as possible and just help you understand the processes that we go through in order for, for freight to get from point A to point B. Uh, we, we would just want to help Thanks. in any way we possibly can. Thanks. Um, like I said, if you do have any questions, uh, we'll be watching the video. I'm sure some are showing people the video. Uh, if you do have any questions, comment below, and I might be able to answer them uh, and comment on your question. And like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at sales. So there you have it, straight from the horse's mouth, John Essery with the sales department at Prime Incorporated. This is Captain Dave with Simple Plan Trucking. We'll be back to see you again real soon. Please take care of the folks that you love. Be safe out there and always keep your plan simple. Take care for now.